Hi, my name is Winter Sherman. I'm a first year biology major from Connecticut. And this research project is based on the effects that climate change has on migrations of hawks at the Cromwell Valley site in Baltimore, Maryland. Our research shows that shifts in migration patterns indicate environmental changes. Our research also shows that years with high temperatures have a decrease in bird population. Within this presentation, we hypothesized that hawks will migrate earlier during the warm seasons instead of the cold instead of the cold season. Our objective is to determine how the change in climate affects the quantity of migrating hawks species. Methods that were used to conduct research is to first collect data from August to September 2020 on hawk count. Then we use the recorded data to create graphs that display the frequency of each bird species. Lastly, we observed the abundance of each species. The numbers were dramatically changed, then migration can be deduced. Hello, my name is Monet Fletcher, and I'm a freshman biology pre-med major from Maryland. For the results section, I'm going to discuss figures one through three. For our first figure, which was the monthly comparison of species abundance for fall 2020 sampling at Cromwell Valley Park, Maryland, this figure below shows the recorded data from the Cromwell Valley site and the abundance of 17, 17 different species spotted at the site is recorded as well over the course of the three months. The month of September saw an overwhelming amount of birds. For figure two, the proportion of each bird of prey species contributes to daily abundance. The daily counts are dominated by the unknown accipiter. The other species weren't seen as much throughout the fall season, which allows the unknown accipiter and the unknown falcon to contribute and dominate the daily totals. And for figure three, which is a multi-level donut chart, the outer ring displays the abundance and richness of each hawk species for the month of November. The middle ring displays the data from October and the inner ring displays the data from September. As displayed, the middle ring shows the most diversity and species richness of all the total birds. My name is Jamila Watson. I will be presenting graphs four through six for our project. I'm a biochemistry major from Maryland. So for figure four, our, it's an accumulative species chart for the our, um, hawk site. And it shows the species um, abundance or species types increasing all the way up until the 17th day, which is the last increase. So by the within the first 25 days of our site, we have all this type, all different species that we will have at the site have all come in. Um, so for the figure five, it's the variation of species richness for birds of prey at the site. Um, and it shows the fluctuations of the species throughout the whole entire fall season. And it is very clear that in October, we see the highest spike and then towards the end, it decreases off. And that's when the birds tend to migrate out of the site. For figure six, that's the species diversity per month, which clearly shows that August has the least diversity out of all the months. And that's probably due to the decrease or the small amount of days that we sampled for that month. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Simeon Gaitan, and I am a first year biology pre-med major from Suffolk, Virginia. And I will be doing our closing remarks, our findings, our results, and our conclusion from our overall hawk study. So we've come to the conclusion that most hawks tend to migrate in the middle of months where the temperature is a little bit more moderate, usually between 50 and 60 degrees. Um, also, there was a dr drastic decrease in the number of migrating birds during October and November. Um, this indicated that our hypothesis was on the right track, our hypothesis being that most hawks will tend to migrate in earlier warmer seasons than in the colder seasons, and that is proven by figures one and two, whereas we see in September we had the most number of abundant, uh, we had the most abundant number of species of hawks, and it goes back to seeing the migrating birds, the decreasing number of my migrating birds during October because during that time period, um, you know, November and October, the seasons changed from fall to winter. Those are starting to become colder, snowy-like months. Furthermore, we came to the conclusion that further research can be done to identify how the data at this site compares to that of other research sites that are a part of Northern America.
Lastly and finally, we would like to give a huge thank you to Hampton University and the Department of Biological Sciences for the opportunity to do our research and conduct us. Um, thank you to hawkcount.org for their use of their database to help us do our research to scratch our surface for our future endeavors as biology and chemistry majors. So thank you to all the authors of the Hawkwatch site and the authors of our references of our data that we have can collect it for our research. We give a huge thank you. Also, again, thank you for the opportunity, Dr. Dash and Dr. Druitt for having us do this and scratch the surface as we continue our journeys of becoming future biologists, future scientists. We hope you enjoyed our presentation and that it was as informative to you as it was for us to do the research. Have a wonderful day and be great. <laughs>